Welcome to the Week in Review, for the week of 1st to 5th of July 2024. Week on week, the main stock market indices were positive, with the S&P 500 gaining 1.9%, the Nasdaq 100 up 3.6%, while the Russell 2000 was down by 1.4%, giving back the previous week's gains. Gold's price also jumped higher, plus 2.8%, and is now around $2,400 per ounce. If gold breaks below the $2,300 level, it could fall until $2,150. Silver got pumped plus 7.1% and might contradict the downward trend of the past six weeks. Silver has some support around $28 and resistance at $34 to $35. The barrel of WTI rise to tilde $83 per barrel. It looks like WTI could continue in the range of $75 to $85 over the next weeks. Bitcoin fell a whooping 9.3% and is around $56,800. The next support is around $52,000. The relative strength of the US dollar, DXY, is slightly down, minus 0.9%, and has been stable in the range 104 to 106 since April 2024. Financial conditions, NFCI, have tightened by 2% relative to the previous week. This tightening is visible in the price of Bitcoin, and eventually other risk assets, and can can then proliferate to the stock market, despite the previous week's positivity. June M2 money supply values are not available yet. US bond yields lowered considerably this week and now sit at 4.61% for the 2-year and 4.28% for the 10-year. Comment section. We reached new record highs in the main indices on lower than average volume. Actually, volume has been subdued over the past 9 weeks, which can indicate a distribution process and a market top. Additionally, the broad market actually lost ground, see Russell 2000, RSP, etc. The VIX, volatility index, is still historically low, indicating that investors are not seeking puts for protection, expiring in the next 25 to 30 days. High yield bond spreads are still small, indicating low stress on the credit markets, good credit availability. On the political side, the week is marked by the French elections. Is the so-called far right going to win? The media loves to exaggerate with words like far this, extreme that. Take care, and good luck.